Hey guys, it's me Khadija, aka Afrikadisiac, or you can call me AK. So if you're new to my channel, if it is your first time here, then please hit that subscribe button so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you guys are already subscribed, then thank you for coming back to my channel. So today I'm back with another part of my top hair products series, and this time we're going to be discussing protein treatments. So protein treatments are especially important for high porosity hair because we have holes and gaps within our hair cuticle. So the protein treatment is going to temporarily repair and strengthen our hair. They do this by filling in the gaps in our hair cuticle and penetrating the cortex. Now before I show my favorite protein treatments, I just want for you guys to know that protein treatments, I feel like it's definitely not one fits all. So I think you need to get familiar with different types of proteins and find which one your hair likes. How you know that is just try a protein treatment and your hair feels amazing, your curls are popping, you have a whole bunch of elasticity again. But if you try a protein treatment and it's like your hair has not even done anything spectacular, it doesn't feel better, it doesn't look better, maybe your hair doesn't like that type of protein. Because I'm telling you, when you get a good protein treatment for your hair, it will transform your hair. Now the first one, you guys have heard me talk about this recently a lot, and it is the Organic Rich Stimulator Hair Mayonnaise. So the protein that is in this product is hydrolyzed collagen. I know my hair likes this specific type of protein because my hair loves this mask and their replenishing deep conditioner which can be used on a weekly basis also has that protein and my hair also loves that product so that is just a little tip for you guys if you're using a moisturizing deep conditioner that also has a little bit of protein in it say if it has silk protein and your hair feels amazing after using that deep conditioner you might want to try a protein treatment that has silk protein it's just this nice thick and creamy kind of consistency the smell is not the best now, I recently discovered that this actually has sodium lauryl sulfate in it. it doesn't specify whether you should wash your hair before using this put it on dry hair it does not say that I feel like maybe they did that so that it can work best we're gonna get that cleansing agent that will allow the protein to penetrate if that makes sense I think that's why they did it but it's low on the ingredients you list ask me like how do you know that you need protein how do you know when it's time to do a protein treatment how often oh, how that's way. my answer to that is you will know when you need protein when you touch your hair when it's wet and it just feels extremely mushy gross disgusting okay that is how also you'll notice your curls are kind of limp don't really have that kind of shrinkage or elasticity Personally, my hair is healthy right now so I'm only using this once a month if you have more damaged hair then you might want to use this twice a month or three times a month always make sure that whenever you're using a protein treatment that you follow up with a moisturizing deep conditioner afterwards just use protein which strengthens and can sometimes dry out or harden the hair so following up with a moisturizing deep conditioner afterwards is going to give your hair the balance that it needs so that when you go on to styling your hair doesn't feel like a brillo pad okay this was something i also used as a newly natural this is the nothing but intense healing mask it says on the packaging strengthens and repairs and those are some key words when you're looking for protein treatments it will say like that it's for damaged hair it's going to strengthen and repair so this one smells way better than the hair mayonnaise in my opinion it smells like a cleaning product but in a good way nice creamy texture and it's this white color the main protein that is in this product is hydrolyzed keratin so pretty much i alternate between the two whichever one i have at the moment that's the one i'll use can't say that one gives me better results than the other honestly because I feel like they both do the job. I hope that this video was really helpful for you guys. If it was then please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Share this video with other high porosity naturals or just naturals in general so that they can understand protein and protein treatments. And also subscribe if you haven't. So I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys! <laughs>